as we found out with um, with our research, there aren't really specific genres you can pin to all short films because it's as it is, it's short. And it doesn't really give you enough time to exp expand on or create a genre. Um, we kind of went for the crime and social realism route, which is not a real. It's not a hundred percent any one of those genres. It's kind of a mix between the two. Um, the crime comes from the flashback scenes where we see the character get up to all kinds of mischief, some crimes to some stupid drunken activities, and then um, that's where the social kind of realism comes in. It's playing to the stereotype that um, young men in our kind of target audience are binge drinking teenagers who just go out and do stupid things. The crime is then reinforced with the policeman. Unlike most kind of short films and films in general where the good guy or the cop or the policeman is the, uh, <laughs> catches the criminal and there is some sort of justice. In our film there is no justice, it's, uh, it's led up to a twist at the end which I found that in short films that is the best way to kind of make a point because you don't have as much time to make a point you can't build up to a big kind of a big kind of ending without leading someone off one alley and completely going the other way and that seems the best way to do it in our short films that like I research things like In the Meadow a couple were taking a nice walk in the country and then out of nowhere the couple gets shot I did not see it coming and it was a quite hard thing to watch which I felt at that point we were going to have some sort of major twist I would have liked to have a darker twist maybe but my group, my group didn't want to do that. I feel like we didn't really follow a specific path to any other of the films that we were researching in our, in our research stages. We went on BBC Short Films website and uh, watched things like All My Dreams on VHS, which is kind of a light-hearted film. And uh, there's, a, there's another twist in that one where there are kind of two main characters. You're kind of watching their relationship evolve and you're thinking that, oh, maybe one of them's going to find out something that, that the other one doesn't want them to know. And then there's a twist at the end to that as well, which is uh, quite significant. And it doesn't go the way that the audience thinks it's going to go. So that's what we wanted to kind of achieve in ours. Um, like I said, in the meadow, where the film takes a completely dark twist, which is why I kind of wanted to do more than the, the all my dreams and VHS maybe. But uh, we did do a thriller last year, and some people in the group wanted to do something different, experiment, which is I could understand where they were coming from. For my feedback, particularly about the film, I found that people were didn't seem too excited about the film. Whereas last year, when I showed showed everyone my friend the film, I was quite proud to do so, and I got really really good feedback. This year, I got good feedback, but. It's not my proudest piece of work because of, I didn't really follow what I really wanted to do. And then um, I think it kind of shows with the feedback I got. They all said, oh, it was quite, it was good, it was funny, and I got kind of mixed feedback. There was no sort of real emotion I felt from the audience. I got a couple of comments about, oh, that was a good shot here, that was a right shot, I like that bit. But it was not. And he specific comments about the entire movie, like, oh, that was a moving movie, that was, that was powerful, I didn't get any of that kind of stuff. So that's what I will aim for in the future. Now, the theory behind all narratives is uh, you start off with a equilibrium. So I'm just sitting here in this room talking to the camera, and then all of a sudden there's a disturbance, a meteor comes through that window. And now my house is burning. I call the fire brigade, brigade, they come down and they you know, clean up the mess and make everything go back to normal again. The restore, restoration of equilibrium. That's the basic kind of model for a movie, any kind of movie. Um, but in short films, there's not enough time to go through all that, so you usually start off in the destruction of equilibrium or you, the equilibrium just doesn't get resolved. So, you either have a cliffhanger end, or 
you jump straight into the action, which which is what we we kind of didn't do. We uh, we had a resolution at the end, and we had equilibrium at the beginning. So I think that we didn't really follow the path of the short film. We followed this path maybe for a longer film, and maybe our film would have been better off as a longer full picture.